Well, exciting things would always come your way if you think positive. And uh, we say thank you for joining us this morning. As always, the AM Show is live on our regular channels on YouTube. My Joe Online TV is there. Please go search for it on YouTube, and we'll be grateful that you keep watching it. This is what we do. At the end of each segment of the show, we tend to upload them uh, subsequently within the show and, and sometimes um, other times when we have um, the laxity to do so. But often we try to touch base with you, also get interactive throughout the rest of the periods when we have regular shows, shows on the channel. And uh, Facebook is where you can also watch us live through our page, my job. Uh, or join us on TV, I should say. But for all the things that we have to talk about, we have to bring you the latest as far as we're concerned on what has been happening on the front of politics. And we'll start this way. He was made the substantive chair of the governing New Patriotic Party at the National Delegates Conference that took place in the Eastern Regional Capital over the weekend. There are concerns, however, about some buses he purchased for the party. Uh, as he announced prior to the elections. And there are also questions as to whether or not he will reinstate suspended uh, former chairman of the party, Paul Afoko, and um, Kujo Yangsen. We'll be asking these and other relevant questions when he hosts this morning, Fred Ose Mayo. Uh, Blake, and uh, for all the things that we have to talk about, we will be asking some critical questions about whether he's worried also that um, him being chairman of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation means that he had undue influence or had uh, some effect on whether he had a purchasing power or not to guarantee for that loan he took at the bank to purchase those cars. Relevant discussion so far. We know that he's a professional lawyer, uh, senior partner, Blaine Associates, and uh, majority shareholder, Western Publications. They are the publishers of one of my favorite newspapers, The Daily Guide. You also have a TV station, I believe. Right. Uh, you can see his credentials there. Held political offices uh, from 1997 to 2008, Member of Parliament for Lembele, uh, on behalf of the CPP. Western region and then from 1997 to 2001 within that period was the second deputy speaker of parliament and uh, between 2001 and 2008 the first deputy speaker of Ghana's parliament and in March 2013 uh, resigned from the CPP to join the MPP that was historic and by October 2015 was appointed acting chairman the MPP and of course we know July elected July 2018 elected chairman of the MPP. It's exclusive right here on the channel with Kujo Yangsen. But uh, after that, we would have also had our regular discussions with our talk guests this morning. And Emmanuel Tremantinge Jako is a member of parliament for the Iwaso West Wagon constituency. So he'll be here with Neen Lante Van der Poy, uh, member of parliament for the Ododo Diodio constituency. We've been getting uh, varied responses as to why the NDC was not present at um, the National Delegates conf uh, Conference of the MPP. So we'll be asking him, perhaps he'll give us a, a response that tallies with the rest or is at variance. But uh, the woman on the move, that's the theme for her 10th anniversary as a show host, Ohini Yire, Gifty Auntie, and her standpoint show at 10 years. So we'll be asking some questions. What propelled her this far? What's motivating her to do more? And what lessons all of us can learn but especially for young women. So join us in a bit. We'll have all these, including the relevant news tidbits, review of the newspapers, the various online portals if we can. And we'll bring you the latest from the World Cup and tennis. And Benedict Osu will be here to do us those honors with the rest of the sports team. As you get interactive, know that, well, we'll wrap up the show with AM Showbiz. And it's brought to you by Awake. Well, we have to take a uh, a breather. When we come back, we'll bring you the latest news headlines we have in the studio. We know you're going to enjoy it, but thanks also for joining us for the AM Show. Stay on.